Hi, this is XTAL. Today we're building a colorful visualizer using the embossed node. Unlike the usual monochrome look, we'll create a vibrant version with a unique node combination. First, let's import the video we'll apply the emboss effect to. We'll use a movie file in top to bring in the source footage. Next, connect a monochrome top to the video. Emboss relies on luminance differences to detect edges, so we strip out color data to focus on brightness values only. Next, attach the emboss top and increase the strength and sample step values. This enhances the edge contrast and expands the sampling range, making the effect more pronounced and visually striking. Connect a blur top after the emboss to soften the effect slightly. This helps smooth out overly sharp edges and creates a more natural look. Add a level top after the blur to adjust brightness, gamma, and contrast. Then lower the opacity to make the emboss blend more naturally over the original footage. Next, connect an edge top to highlight the embossed areas. I'll use white here, but adding different colors can create a more vibrant or stylized look. Feel free to match the color to your footage's mood and aesthetic. Now bring in a comp top and connect the level 1 and edge tops we created earlier. Set the operation to hard light to blend the emboss and edge layers effectively. This comp will play a key role when we composite everything over the background later. Now import the background video and connect it to the comp top. This video plays a key role in setting the overall color and mood. I'm using one with fast transitions and rich colors to match the dynamic emboss effect.
connect a blur top followed by a level top to the second video. This transforms the footage into a soft, blurry version that emphasizes color over detail. Connect a null top to the comp top to prepare the output. Null helps organize and clean up the final result for further use. To make the emboss more visible despite transparency, we'll add a black background. Use an overtop to combine the original footage with a black constant top. All nodes are connected now. If the emboss feels too strong or weak, adjust level 1 and level 2 and tweak other nodes bit by bit to craft the desired mood. The more precise this process, the closer you get to your perfect look.
Finally connect the out node to the movie file out node to make the output renderable. Now you're ready to save or export your final result. Today we dove into creating an embossed composite effect in Touch Designer breaking down each node's role and how to tweak them. We went beyond a basic emboss by adding color, adjusting levels, blurring and compositing to give the visuals more depth and mood. I hope this tutorial inspires your creativity and gives you a solid foundation for future video projects. Stay tuned for more fun and useful Touch Designer tips and techniques coming your way. Thanks for watching. This was Xtale.